Okay, this one is from Samuel and Sidney Lyles. And the first question is about running systems off the batteries. And his specific question is, can you run the windlass off the batteries without running the engine or the generator? Yes, absolutely. So the windlass uh, has a 1100 watt motor. And to put that into perspective, the hot water kettle that we routinely run is about 2,300 watts. So the hot water kettle uses twice as much energy as the windlass. The vacuum is about 1100 too, right? Yes. So it's about uh, the same. Yep, exactly. So yeah, it's no problem. There's a big, and because it's 24 volts, uh, we don't have to have a separate battery up front. Some boats um, need a battery because the, the voltage drop is too much between where the, the house bank is and if you don't have a big enough wire. Uh, but we've got a pretty you know thick cable run up there, so it's not a problem. Okay. Uh, they also ask, they said they're switching from master volt over to Victron and wonder how much you monitor the state of the system because Victron has Bluetooth and such. Yes, so that is actually something that I think is pretty cool. Um, I'm sure there's other battery monitors, but when we put this system in, this is the one that, uh, that Justin sent us. Yeah. So I've actually pre-connected my phone. This is the BMV 712 Smart battery monitoring system that comes with Victron uh, it's you can buy it, you can hook it to anything oh, okay. it is it is from Victron but Victron uh, has Bluetooth compared to Masterbolt doesn't I don't know anything about the Masterbolt one okay maybe it does maybe it doesn't I know this one does though so I've got my little I've just connected to it uh, and it shows that our state of battery charge right now is it 68 percent so this is basically showing the state of the batteries, whereas the solar charge controller was specific to the solar panels. This is specific to the batteries. So we have, uh, we ran the generator two days ago, mm -hmm. two and a half days ago now. Uh, we're at 68% of charge. Voltage is at 26.63. We're putting in 12 amps, 300 watts of power. We're down at minus 130 out of our 400 watt bank so we should be able to get this to minus 350 360 something like that time remaining infinite because we're solars pumping in in charge right now um, this thing is is quite cool because you can set uh, a lot of alarms in it so if you look at here uh, for the batteries uh, I can tell it um, can you move it a little closer to my camera a little closer. Okay. So I have some low voltage alarms set in here and a high voltage alarm. So we're protecting the system on both sides. So if the voltage gets to 23 volts, then uh, it sends off an alarm. And if the voltage gets over 29.1, it sets off an alarm. Uh, as far as the batteries, this is where you configure the capacity uh, when they're 100% charged, which manufacturer says 28.8 volts. Um, this is probably the most important, the charge efficiency factor. So when I installed these batteries, I needed to change that from like 70% to 99% mm. for lithium. Okay. All right, so this is the actual unit itself. So right now we're looking at voltage. It's just giving us the same information on the app uh, the current we're putting in, power we're putting in. I'm really surprised that it has power. I think that's pretty cool in addition to amp hours we've used, minus 129. And uh, the state of charge for the battery is quite nice to look at so you don't have to do the calculation in your head. And you know, oh, we're at 70% and we still got a while to go before we need to worry about charging. Um, so yeah, it works fine, works great. If you like the video and you like the topics, please uh, be sure to like it on YouTube. Leave a comment. That really helps us to know whether we're on the right track with making the videos that you want to see. And most importantly, we're still releasing videos on a weekly basis. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It makes sure that you get all the videos uh, from us as a notification. And it really, really, really helps us in our YouTube demographics and stats and things. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one.